Okay. Um, hello, eighth grade art students. So for this project for your AMI day 12, you're gonna be doing a self-portrait drawing. So you can see I have an example here, just the outline sketch of it. Um, and on your worksheet for day 12, I gave you a step-by-step -step guideline of how to do this project. But right now I'm gonna show you how to do that drawing according to those steps on the worksheet. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle. Now, I know a lot of you probably can't draw a perfect circle and that's fine because I can't either. Um, you're just gonna try your best to get a circle a decent size in the middle of the page. I want you to notice that I'm drawing fairly lightly. That way if I need to erase and start over, I can. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add the chin. So this is just the head, so we gotta add the chin. So you're gonna start on either end side of the circle and you're gonna draw some lines going down and just make a line to represent the jawline, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a vertical line going halfway through the face and then a horizontal line going through the face about right there where you started making the jawline. Now when you draw a portrait, there's certain steps that you use to draw a portrait because the face is done in a certain order. So now that we have this line, we need to add some other lines. So halfway between this line you did here and the bottom of the chin, you're gonna draw another line. And then halfway between the line you just drew and the chin, another line. So all that is is shows you where the eyes, nose, and mouth are. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the eyes. So on either side of this line, right on here, we're gonna draw the eyes. So right about here, I'm gonna draw the eyes. The eyes typically are kind of like pointy ovals. They remind me of the shape of a football. So I've got those. Now remember, these are just placeholders. We'll add details later. And then right here, we're gonna draw the nose. So the nose is gonna be around here. And then we've got the sides of the nose. And then it going up towards the eyes. Then I'm gonna add two curvy lines to represent the top of the mouth and then the bottom of the mouth. So now that I have where everything on the face is located, I can add some more details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase my guidelines. And that's part of the reason you wanted to draw them pretty lightly. So I'm gonna erase all my guidelines. And then I'm gonna add a little more detail to the facial features. So I'm gonna draw the inside of the eyes, add some curvy lines on the inside, add the pupils. So that's the black spot in the middle of your eye. Draw a line here to represent the eyelid going over the eye. Draw a line above the eye to represent the fold in the eyelid. And then a little bit above that, you're gonna add the eyebrows. So they'll be kind of start in line with this side ridge of the nose. And then I'm gonna draw little tiny lines to represent the hairs of the eyebrow. If you wanna just draw a line, you can too, but I'm gonna draw hairs. Okay, you can add eyelashes if you want. And I'm gonna add a little more detail to my nose, just kind of go over some of those lines I did just a minute ago. You can see them a little bit better. And then I'm gonna make my mouth turned upward just a little bit to give this portrait a smile. And the next thing we need to do is we need to add the hair. So the hair is where you get to use a little bit more of your creativity because everyone's hair is different. Now, one thing that you need to know is that you're not gonna want to draw the hair just up here. So the hair actually sits on top of the head. The hairline usually starts right about here. So the hair is gonna cover some of the head and actually sit a little bit on top of it. So if I was drawing hair that looked like mine, I'm gonna draw some bangs. And I'm also gonna draw hair sitting on top of the head and then going down like that. And if you wanna draw your ears, your ears typically start where your eye is, and it curves and goes in and then back out, and usually stops around where your nose is. So it's like right about there. And 
Then I'm gonna add the neck. So two curved lines down here. And then as I get further down, I'm gonna start going outward to get the shoulders. I'm gonna draw a curve line to represent a t-shirt. Now, what I want you to notice about these two examples is I was looking at the same guidelines that you guys are gonna be looking at, but these portraits don't look exactly the same. So every time you do a portrait, especially if you're not looking at something, they're probably not gonna look exactly the same, and that's fine because this is just practice. So after you get your portrait drawn out, you can add shading to it. So you can shade in the hair, you can shade in the t-shirt, whatever. Um, or if you'd rather use color and you have access to something to color with, you can do that, okay? Make sure you put your name on it somewhere where I can see it clearly and then make sure you email this picture to me. Thank you.